Christian Nagel is making a mushroom. The artist is known around his East London neighborhood as the mushroom guy. He's made more than 500 of them and many are on the street. I like, I like the, the nature of the street work, you know, climbing, going out at night with a bunch of mates, drinking beer, making it a thing. And it's exciting and dangerous and illegal still. Uh, I like that aspect of it. I like being on the street, I like it being free, you know, it's a new philosophy that's going on. His polyurethane mushrooms aren't always that easy to find, so he's a great supporter of a new app for smartphones. The Street Art London app costs a bit under $5 and has an index of 100 street artists, with a map directing users to paintings, sculptures and installations. Artists range from Banksy, a well-known street artist, to the less well-known, including Dutch artist Roa. Users can search by artist or use the map to find what's out there. Street art that's been removed or painted over by street cleaning crews remains, and the app becomes a virtual museum. Street art's getting more and more sophisticated every day. Pieces are getting bigger, um, just, yeah, just bigger. I think that's a real trend, and it's also internationalizing as well. So I think there's a real kind of proliferation of ideas, um, as well as just a kind of a proliferation of street art generally around the world. The app is constantly updated with more artists, more art, and the developer has extended the range to a Street Art New York app with plans to branch out to Paris, Buenos Aires and L.A. Jessica Baldwin, Al Jazeera, London.